Welcome to this special preview of the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Buffalo Sabres. Tonight's game, there is all to play for. The Penguins are just a few points off the lead in the Atlantic Division and of the Eastern Conference lead, while the Sabres are still vying for that final playoff berth in the Eastern Conference. Penguins are bad news for tonight's game. Mactin Tower will miss the game, his ankle injury is reoccurring. Peter Sikora is doubtful for the game with a back injury. Marion Hossa still is yet to make an appearance after his debut just a couple of weeks ago. Buffalo Sabres have their own injury problems. While Hen Henrik Talender will return after missing three years by for injury, fellow defensemen Dmitry Kalanen and Yaroslav Spacek were injured against the Rangers the other day and will miss the game. Nathan Page should make the game despite suffering whiplash-like injuries in that game against the Blue Shirts. If he doesn't make it, Pominville will play on defence and being the top scorer for the Sabres is probably a good thing for the Penguins. With all the injuries, Pittsburgh native Mike Weber will make uh, another appearance for the Sabres. He's made four appearances already, however, he is highly rated as a young defenseman. Adam Mayer is also questionable but will probably play, while Steve Bernier and Mike Ryan will miss the game through injury also. Penguins lines once again will be mixed and matched. Malkin and Crosby may play on the line together, however, if they don't, they'll probably look a little something like this. If the lines do look this way, you can expect to see Kennedy in that top six at some point, most likely in the place of Jordan Starr. The bottom six will change throughout the game with Ryan Stone and Connor James set to return after being called up from Wilts Barry. The Sabres will line up something along the lines of what we see here, and the line to look out for in particular is the Bannock, Roy and Stafford line. They're the most productive line for the Sabres, combining for 48 points in just under 1,300 shifts together. Their scoring rate is almost identical to the Penguins' recent high-scoring line of Malone, Malkin and Sikora. On to the goalies. Ryan Miller should start for the Sabres. He has 30 wins on the year and will be looking for his first career shutout against the Penguins. The Penguins' goalie situation is a nice dilemma for Coach Terrian. Conklin has won all three games against the Sabres this season, shutting them out on one occasion while Mark andre Fleury has been performing extremely well of late. Key players. For the Sabres, the returning Henrik Talander will be a vital addition with the loss of two other veteran defensemen. Maxim Finnaganov has only 24 points in 48 games and should be looking to step up his production, while Thomas Vanek has just two goals in his last nine games. In the eight before that, he'd scored 11 goals. So he needs to get his scoring touch back. For the Penguins, the goalie is a key. If Conklin plays, he needs to continue his good form against the Sabres. If it's Fleury, he needs to control his rebounds. If Genny Malkin's scoring has dried up slightly of late with only three in his last 11, he'll be needing to get on the board with Sakura struggling with injury. The Penguins' fourth line is Stone, Menard and James need to come out with energy, hassle on the forecheck, crash the net and shoot at every opportunity. Finally, the Penguins' keys to the game. Play physical from the outset get traffic in front of the net and get pucks there. On the power play, Gonchar and Malkin must find space to shoot more. The Penguins need to cycle the puck. Sabres to be wary of, Patrick Coletta, don't bite when he dangles the bait, and Maxim McBenaganov, he'll be a threat if he's allowed to skate with the puck. Since the last meeting on the 17th of February, the Sabres have gone 4-4-3, while the Penguins have 6-3-2. So the Penguins are slight better in form, however it's all to play for as I said before. The Penguins are looking to sweep the Sabres entirely this season. They've already won the first three games. They won 2-0 just before the new year. Then they beat the Sabres 2-1 in the Winter Classic and once again they beat them in February 4-1.